Welcome back. It is now 15 after the hour. Uh, for centuries, maybe m longer than that, who knows, India has been the seat of learning uh, spiritually, and they have developed uh, the yoga practice uh, uh, to, its, to its finest and to its greatest. With us right now is one of the more renowned teachers of yoga. His name is Swami Har Harananda Giri. He has been in Orlando, uh, in the Orlando area, teaching as he will be on his tour uh, throughout Europe and other parts of the United States. Welcome. Thank you very much for being with us today. How many different types of yoga are taught in India? There are 108 types of yoga in India. 108? Types of yoga. Apart from this, there are many paths, many ways to for God realization. And there are, so there are many, many paths to doing that. Your specialty, which you teach, is called Kriya Yoga. Yes, I teach Kriya Yoga. Tell us what that is. What is Kriya Yoga? Why is it different from other yoga? I'm telling Nada. Mother, in Kriya, there is two syllables, Kri and Ya. Kri means work. Hold work? The work. Okay, you work. Hold the night, the work people are doing, that is Kri, mm -hmm. but a dead man cannot do work. <laughs> the right. power of God who is pulling breath from within, that is Ya, soul. Mm -hmm. Soul and body together, they are doing work. This is called Kri and Ya, Kriya. Kriya Full day and night, any work people, they are doing, this is Kriya. And yoga means union of body and soul. Body is there and also soul is abiding inside, that is Kriya. And he is doing work. In ancient time, God brought the supreme mystery of Kriya Yoga. That was the first teaching. Some thousands and thousands years ago, there was no Rama, no Krishna, no Hinduism, no Buddha, no Shankara. No Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, oh, so no Jesus, no Moses, no Daniel, so no spiritual yoga. books on that time. Ah. No Veda, Upanishad, Patanjali, Shankar, Bible, Torah, etc., Quran. Only they were teaching breath control. Okay. That is Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga then predated simple. religion uh, and... It is not religion. It's not religion. It, is, it depends upon with four techniques. Mm -hmm. Pratahar, that one... What is the first one? Pratahar, first is Pratahar means renunciation. Our mm -hmm. mind is covered with thought, intellect, so many worries, anxieties. Uh -huh. And by the practice of Kriya Yoga, within two minutes time, mm -hmm. the people will get Pratahar. So you have to quiet your mind. Quiet. In a quiet. moment time, he will mm -hmm. be free from all thoughts and he will get knowledge, consciousness, super consciousness. Mm -hmm. That is Kriya. And after Pratahar, you will get Dharana, conception of self, who is abiding and activating in your 50 body parts. Who's in here, right? Within you. <laughs> not Within the... every human being. Yeah. And God is not far, he is all pervading, omnipresent, omniscient. So I am telling, in ancient time they were teaching this, and within four minutes time they are getting Pratahar, Dharana, Dhyan, the perception of self that he is constantly within us, that you can perceive. And then Samadhi. Samadhi means that you are absorbed in God, also in material world. Two things at a time. That is called Kriya, Yoga. We teach simultaneous development of body, mind, intellect and soul by the scientific technique of Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is a scientific technique. It is not a religious technique. Mm. Uh, it's not a religious technique, no. in other words. This no. is uh, this is a thing. As you are sleeping on that time, you are taking deep, long breath, mm -hmm. and you are getting calmness. You have no thought, no anger, no pride, no passion, no sorrow. You are only sleeping, mm -hmm. and you are taking deep oxygen. Mm -hmm. And that oxygen is the nutrition of the brain. And that is going straight to the brain, and your brain become free in the morning when you get up, you get extreme energy, power rejuvenates and degenerates. Mm -hmm. This is Kriya Yoga, is that type of breath. But I tell that the real realized yogi who has penetrated behind the veil of nature's splendors, 
and who has really perceived the veil also penetrated behind the veil of all religions and have really reached to calmness, to the knowledge, consciousness, super consciousness and cosmic consciousness, they will really perceive and they can infuse the power to persons and they can purify their body. And within a short period, within four minutes time, there are four techniques, within four minutes time, the power will come up from the lower center to the upper center. Jesus said you are born from below of the flesh, so you have to born from above through water and spirit. We are teaching the same thing, how the people will come up from the lower center, from his money center, from his sex center. They will watch that money center is there and that money is earned by ya. That work is, money work is going on, that is Kri and this is here. In this way, food, you are getting hunger, appetite, that appetite is given by power of God, that your breath. Through this, you are getting appetite and you are giving food to the power of God. You are, dead man cannot eat food, the God is digesting food, that is Kri and Ia. Similarly, in the heart center, many people, they have anger, pride, the God made man with his own image and he breathed into the nostrils of the breath of his life. It is the feature of God. All our bad thoughts, any thoughts, first coming on the right side of our brain, on the right lobe. Mm -hmm. And that you can change it in the pawns. If you practice Kriya Yoga, immediately you can judge. And there are three techniques. First technique, you are magnetizing your spine. Just you are bending your body and touching your head. I am demonstrating that I am sitting straight mm -hmm. and I am bending my body. Yeah, it seems very easy In so this far. Way. Yeah. So the power is coming on the top. If you bow in this way seven times, if you magnetize your spine, mm -hmm. then you can get the divine power. That your power will immediately come up and power will rejuvenate and degenerate. And whole power will come up on the top. In the drum of milk, if you churn the milk, then whole cream will come up on the top. Again, you cannot mix up. Similarly, the human body is full of delusion, illusion and error. By the practice of Kriya Yoga, you can remove your delusion, illusion and error and you can perceive the power of God is giving a delusion, illusion and error. Then automatically, you will remain in the family and you can perceive God in your every step of your life. This is Kriya Yoga. And second technique is this, that our many diseases remaining in the body. So we are giving pressure on the liver. Uh -huh. And after that, we are stretching our leg and bending our body on the right hand side. Yeah, right. Our left nostrils is full of catar. So we cannot get equal pressure of breath. So if you do not get equal pressure of breath, then our meditation is not meditation. Ah. Similarly, we are giving pressure on the And you do it left, on the other side, opposite side, the opposite side. And bending, yeah. both nostrils will be free. So yeah. our thought, bad thoughts, or any anger, pride, which is coming on the right lobe, that we can easily transform it mm -hmm. on the left side. So our mm -hmm. love will flourish. Our bond between two friends will be stronger. And you will get real love in the matter. You will be sweet, kind, loving. The, what is in God, the purity and perfection, kindness, lovingness, sweetness, that is in every human being. So if they practice it, then they can get the power within a short period. And they will feel that he is in the material world also. The power of God is activating through their body. And through the and four and four minutes within four once minutes. a day is it does it take once a day how many times you have to a practice day? only ten minutes time ten but minutes? when we are purifying the body on that time it takes only four minutes time within four minutes time you will get vibration from head to foot in fifty body parts everywhere you will get divine sound divine light divine vibration even in the infinity. You will not feel that you are sitting in the ground. You will feel that your this body is limited body, but your real body is your soul that is remaining 
up to the infinity, you will feel vibration even on the infinity. It is a rare opportunity. It's incredible. So, if it can take care of our anger, Hinduism. it's not, this is not, not religious. Hinduism. Mm -hmm. This is not mm, any religion. It is the synthesis of three yogas. Kri means war. Through war, you are getting knowledge. Mm -hmm. Through knowledge, you are getting love. That if doctor is, is a student, he's doing war, and he's learning something, yeah. then people, they are giving love to the doctor. Absolutely. Similarly, this body is a human body. Human means God is abiding in the gross body. It is called human body. God in human being, human being in God. I could sit and talk to you for a long time, and I will, but we're going to have to break away now. We're out of time. Namaste. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We'll be right back.